Today I'm in Newport Beach, California, asking people what is one thing in life they could absolutely not live without. I feel like that's the hardest question I've ever been asked. For me, it's ice cream, which is why I decided to partner with my friends at Atomic Creamery to give a year-long supply of ice cream to the first person I find who has the same answer that I do. What is one thing in life you could absolutely not live without? Oh, man. Bread and a man. <laughs> I have to have my walks. Do you have to have your walks in the morning, buddy? We're gonna take that as a yes. I'm here in Santa Monica, California, doing a little experiment, seeing if everyone is just as confused as I am when it comes to this thing called life. Do you feel like you have your life figured out? Absolutely not. You guys feel like you have your life together? No. Not at all. No. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Definitely not. When do you feel like you had everything figured out? Uh, I'm 33 now and I still don't have it figured out. <laughs> do you feel like you have your life figured out? Yes. I'm 22 and I'm trying to get my life figured out, so what advice would you have for me? He's looking at me like, dude, you're 22, you gotta get it together. Is that what you're thinking? Mm-hmm. Pop a squat and just try to, you know, soak up all your good love. When do you feel like it finally clicked for you? I don't think you totally feel like you ever have your life together, but I think you've got your life together. You've got the confidence, you look like you know what you're doing, just follow your dream and your passion and you'll be successful. When I'm actually about to start crying, you are the sweetest person ever. I have goosebumps. I'm leaving here today realizing that it is okay to not have everything figured out. And I would just like to say cheers to not putting so much pressure on everything and just enjoying the ride. The verdict is in and I can definitely confirm that the Henry is indeed worthy of being called the greatest neighborhood restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, coffee, cocktail, dessert, snack, pastry. What more do you need from a place? Nothing. It's a one-stop shop. I honestly think I'm just gonna move in, so uh, this is now officially my bed and I'll see you next time. <gasps> You know that cute little like filter on Instagram with the hearts and the music? Do you have that? Okay, back to the food. Honestly, like I feel like if I spent the day with you, we would get literally nothing done but have the best day ever. If a doctor were to open up my heart, they would see that I am 100% a flower child. It was one of my first jobs, it was my first love, and now it's officially in Orange County. Right when you walk in, it basically looks like Instagram just threw up everywhere. Everything is Instagrammable. Yoga mat parking. Like, come on, what restaurant has yoga mat parking? Proper order, you gotta start with the avocado hummus. Mm, it's creamy. It has corn in it, so it's sweet. It's like a, a hummus version of guacamole. It's just to die for. That toast is for real. Let's just take a look at the camera and say, real deal, avocado toast. That's who I'm. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We're gonna say, the avocado toast is the real deal. Three, two, one. The, the avocado, avocado toast, toast is the, the real deal. deal. I love that. Around the Flower Child block, you've opened a bunch of them. What keeps people coming back to Flower Child? I think that because we cater to anyone and everyone's needs is probably something that people are really aiming for now, especially with the amount of allergies that are out there. And our hospitality is unbeatable. Everybody who works here is incredible. We're here for a good time. As if I didn't eat enough, you can never come here without getting a dessert. They look like they're busy, so I'm just gonna help myself to this. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, have a wonderful day, everyone. Got the goods. You just call in your order, pick it up within five minutes. If you're in class, head on back to class. I usually said that I was going to the bathroom and next thing you know I would come back with this bag and what is the professor gonna say to you right where were you and you say I don't know my friend gave me this while I was in the bathroom things are escalating so quickly I asked for a cookie dough milkshake and now I'm getting champagne ice cream this is my type of place